Yes, sir. She ready now. A LS engine, missed five troubleshoot, paid off. It's fixed now. No troubleshooting a LS engine misfire can be cumbersome. We had one on our 72 Impala LS swap, baby. I know how important it is to make sure you get your LS engine back up and running like it's supposed to. If you clicked on this link, today is your day because that LS engine misfire, we gonna work it out. Today, YouTube, we gonna talk about exactly how you test the spark plug wire so that you can determine if it's the root cause of your problem. Even if you ain't never touched a wire on a car before or even a multimeter, after watching this video, you too gonna be a pro at troubleshooting the LS engine misfire. You can take what I'm gonna show you today and apply it to any car. It could be a V8, it could be a V6, Toyota, Ford, it don't even matter. But what I need for you to do is to make sure you watch this whole video all the way through. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notification bell. That way you see all the videos when we post them. And I need for you to drop me a comment in the comment section and say I'm riding with Chevy Zarus, Tom. Let Chevy Zarus help you do your LS swap, YouTube. We a family, man. We gonna do this thing together. Y'all ready? You too, you too. <laughs> YouTube, 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 this your boy, Tony, 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 coming back at y'all. One more again, YouTube, with another great video on Chevy's R Rush, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. We out here in the garage, and guess what? Ain't nothing nobody can do about it, YouTube. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, just wanted to give y'all a quick little uh, walk around of it. This is the LS3 swap that we recently completed. Uh, this is the vehicle that we've been doing the LS engine misfire troubleshooting on. And uh, yeah, man, it runs like a scalding dog. We got that misfire worked out. Uh, we diagnosed the problem and we uh, fixed it. Over here, man, this is a 75 convertible Caprice. It's sitting in the woods 28 years, y'all. Unmolested. Yeah, baby. We got a roller, baby. We got a roller. Hey, Greg, I do about the other way. Straight, straight the wheel. Like a bit of uh, air in the tire, just a little bit. Garage now, man. We got to crank this baby up. This car hadn't been crunk up in 28 years. It has original engine in it. It ain't LS swap, not yet. But uh coming soon though, YouTube. Let's get right to it, YouTube. Today we're gonna talk about how you identify uh if a spark plug wire is bad and how you properly test a spark plug wire. So that's what we gonna do, YouTube. All right, YouTube, here's the plug wire that we just took off. Uh, first thing you wanna look at whenever you test a spark plug wire is 
you always want to do a, a visual inspection. And, and this ain't no visual inspection. Oh, it's good. No, that's not a visual inspection. What you want to do is you want to carefully look at the boot. Make sure you ain't got no burn marks or no cut marks in your boot caused from vibration or heat. So this one uh, looks pretty good on the outside. And then uh, now I just need to inspect these little metal connectors right here. Because a lot of times or sometimes these can be broken off inside of the uh, spark plug boot. Like this guy down here. Uh, you see a little metal piece down in there. Look like it's still intact. And so overall, uh, the visual inspection on this wire looks pretty good. So now uh, we know that the outside looks good. Sometimes these things are, you know, just like you, man. You may look good on the outside. You may look okay. You don't look good as me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, you, you got to go to the doctor and, you know, get an x-ray done to see what's going on on the inside of you. So these spark plug wires are kind of the same way. Just because the outside looks good, it ain't burnt. Don't mean that ain't nothing going on on the inside. So the next step is to use our multimeter to determine if this spark plug wire is bad. All right, you two. This is actually called a multimeter. And this is the device that we are going to be using to test the spark plug wire to determine if it's good or not. I know y'all see this is a little cheap one. Uh, you can get these, man, Harbor Freight for about 15, 20 bucks. They sell the uh, deluxe version, the digital version that's all fancy and stuff like that. But, you know, this is all you really need right here is a multimeter, a cheap multimeter that you can, uh, it has DC and resistance ohms on it. If you never used one before, they come with two wires. They come with a red wire and they come with a black wire. This is uh, how you want to set these cables up. Uh, you got them set up. The black one goes in the common. And then if you look real closely here, you see V in the, their horseshoe sign. That's ohms. And so the red one needs to go right where the horseshoe is at. That's for ohms, y'all. All right. So now that I got my multimeter set up, what I need to do is I need to take one of these testers or cables or and stick it down in here. And, uh, you know, I kind of put it on the other side so it don't come out. It's touching the little metal piece in here. And then I'm just going to take this, put it on 200. It's on 200. And I'm just going to touch this in right here. And so now I got this connected, one, one wire connected to that end, the other wire connected to this end, and I still got a reading of one. So it's on 200, so let me move up to 2,000 and see if I get a reading. Oh, wow. Look at that, look at that. It gave me a reading on 2,000. So I got a reading of 231 ohms. That's how much resistance this... Uh, this wire has 230, 231 ohms of resistance. Let me elaborate on that a little bit. And if you don't know what resistance is, I want to break it down for you. I want to elaborate on that so that, you know, you're aware. Resistance. The only thing resistance is, imagine this. Imagine you taking a water hose and you cut the water on full blast. And then you, you grab the hose and pick it up and you just bend it. And it, it, the water, the pressure builds up in that hose, right? Uh, because you're adding resistance to that water hose. You're, you're adding resistance to it. The fact that you squeeze it or you bend it and kind of cut the water circulation off. 
you adding resistance. And the only thing ohms is in a wire is the amount of resistance in that wire. You know, imagine you taking a wire and it's got a little conductor inside of it, the little metal or copper uh, conductor inside of it. But imagine just choking it, just squeezing it and cutting off some of that electricity flowing through it. That's all resistance is. That's what ohms are. And so your spark plug wires, they have to operate and have the uh, least amount of resistance in them. Because if they have resistance in the wires, it's going to choke that electricity from getting to your spark plug like it's supposed to. And it's going to cause a misfire if it's too much resistance in one of them spark plug wires. Now, now that we know what resistance is, we know what ohms are, and we know how to test the wire to determine how much resistance our spark plug wire has in it, uh, let's talk about how you determine if it's too much resistance in that wire. So what you need to do is you need to look up online. You need to look on Google. You need to look at the manufacturer's website. Uh, you need to look at your spark plug, uh, the papers that came with your spark plug wires and the packaging. You need to go find what the recommended, or not the recommended, but what the, the limit is for resistance in the spark plug wires that you own that you bought or that you are buying and you need to make sure and test it and make sure it's within those limits because if it's too much resistance, know that you're going to have a misfire on your LS engine. All right. So now that we know how to properly test the spark plug wire to determine if it is the root cause of your LS engine misfire or engine misfire uh, is that's the easiest thing. Testing your spark plug wires. Now, if this resolves your problem, that's great. But after you test your spark plug wires and you find out that all of them are good and your problem is not fixed, I want you to come back here. And I want you to click that link in the top right corner. And I want you to check out LS Engine Misfire Troubleshooting Playlist. I guarantee we have the fix for your problem. And in that playlist, man, we talk about exactly how you determine which cylinder is causing the misfire. We explain in detail the strategic LS Engine misfire troubleshooting steps that you need to take to get your LS swap or your LS engine back up and on the road, y'all. Make sure y'all click that subscribe button and lock in with the Chevy R Us family. Let Chevy R Us help you do your LS swap, YouTube. Your LS swap is just as important it's my LS swap. You know what I'm saying? We go live every single Wednesday. You got questions, we got answers. Come chop it up with a whole community of people that like to do the same thing you do. Old school cars and LS swaps. All right, join us. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. Every Wednesday. You too, you too. Yeah. <laughs>